Okay, what I went ahead and did was I I drew on a little bit of his hat and where his arms are, he's going to hold this baseball bat. So the arms come down and around. And then we're going to have to trim a lot off here. I want the bat to be sticking out a little bit. A little bit here to put in his shoes later on. And all this has to be cut out and the sides and the front. So there's a lot to be done on the bottom part of the cone. Uh, but I want to continue with the head right now. I'm going to go ahead and spray it just a tad just to help it along a little bit. And that seems to work really good. What you want to do is you want to get the head, uh, you want to get the the uh, nose in a like a dip shape. And I was digging this out a little bit here, but let's, let's go over here and kind of cut this out a little deeper right where the hat meet because that's kind of the most important aspect of the uniform I think you know there's other aspects of it we'll put more details on him as we go along here but we're just trying to cut things out and proportion things like they should be Again, I'm going to come down just a tad more and cut this out. See, I can go against the grain. If the, if the knife is sharp enough, you'll be able to do that. Okay? You'll be able to do that. You don't want a kind of a blockhead either. You know, you want it to really come out nice that way. And we're going to put a little rim around at the bottom part of the hat. Okay, there's too much. Hang on just a second here. There we go. Too many shadows everywhere. Oh, for my liking. <clears throat> anyway, so we want to continue because he's looking kind of upward a little bit. And the hat is kind of placed upward. Folks, when I do a project, I really don't know how it's going to turn out. I have a general idea in my head what I want to want to do, but a lot of times it just gets created as I'm going along because there's cuts and all of a sudden I see something different that I like to do, and then I go with that. All right, so there's the baseball cap. Let's make that just a tad deeper all the way around. And we're going to take the tip of the knife. We're just going to try to slice that out. Just like so. And the other thing we're going to do is we're going to trim this portion of the hat to match it. Alright? To the edge of what we have there. Like I said, I never know what it's going to look like. Hope it looks like a baseball player. Get done. Alright. There we go. And uh, I'm going to look at a couple pictures later uh, tonight to see what else I need to do here. I'm going to trim his hair down a little bit. See, we'll have a little bit of hair coming back on the back of the ears here. Mm, the ears are a little off. How about that? Let's go up a little further with his ears here. ears on them and we're going to have a actually we have this hairline coming down right below the ear there just like so it'd be a little bit easier and not as complicated uh, that looks way off see that it looks way off so what you have to do is look from the top and from the sides and you know 
all that and this has to come off that's way too wide there so want to be very very careful now if you happen to snap the ear off at any time in your carving you can put it back on with crazy glue that usually works pretty good okay let me see yeah there we go it's a little better okay until it proportioned a little bit better all right we're going to put eyes in this guy but we're going to go ahead and start with the mouth um we have i when i did the obama caricature I, when I was studying faces, a lot of times they have this crease coming down like this, and then it turns when they smile. Okay? It turns when they smile. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the crease down above the nose here, a little ways. Down, and I'm going to cut that out. And we're going to take the tip of the knife, we're going to turn it, just like so. All right, just like so. All right. Smile lines. And we're going to bring this up. All right. Let's see what happens there. Take this a little deeper. Every time I see a face now, I'm studying it, seeing how the lines are, how the eyes are, and um, more so now than ever before. It's just something I am starting to do, and, you know, what makes somebody's feature different than somebody else's, uh, you know, it's a, it's a pretty interesting study. Okay, so we're going to bring this down just a tad, and we're going to scoop this out right here. All right, so his chin. All right. Just like so. All right. We're going to have him kind of smiling there. And we don't want that too prominent, but, you know, we want... chin. We're going to trim this down just a tad. Alright, and then what we're going to do here, we round this up a little bit more. The very deep point is right where the nose and that meet. Let's see how we're going to do this. I'm going to do one down the center. And then one there. And just have a nice big V cut. There we go. Scooping that out a little bit. Okay, and there's this face. All right, not real difficult. You can take a little, uh, little tool up in the middle. And one thing I will do, and I think I liked it from the Obama uh, look, and if you have.